breaking the bike down, getting ready to put the trail performance cold air intake on. I took the front out, finna take the hood off. This front part, these side panels. Then I'm a clamshell of the bike, take those two screws out the back. Front off, the front, the hood. Now I gotta take these side panels off. All right, let me break it down so far how I got it broke down. Take this part off, it's two T30 torque screws. It's up under the bottom. All right, take the side panel off. You got three rivets. One, two, three. All right, to take your front off, you got two T20s. Rivet, 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 rivet. Two more rivets by the gas tank. Alright, you got a T30 torque here. Just loosen that one. You got one here. 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 And the two right up under the seat. Alright, I got the Riker. What they call clamshell. Well, I can get to the factory air box. We're going to take that out. This would look like broke down. I'll remove this screw, which I'm going to reuse to get the factory air box out and squeeze and take this hose off. Gotta remove this 10 millimeter also to get the air box off. That one. And it was a 10 millimeter here. Show you what it looked like fully clamshell. They got a hose that I gotta take loose. So I loosened the screw on this hose, took the two 10 millimeter screws off, and now the air box can come out. Shout out to Trill Performance up in Vancouver, Washington. It's cold that intake, but to add more horses to beast mode, I also already have the dyno for it from Bill Ramsinger. It's the old box. All right, I got my first elbow on. Notice the way I got the clamps turned where they're easy to get to. I saw Bill do that in his video. Second clamp, see go through the front the screw on this clamp should be facing this direction so you can get through to it from your front okay now I got my breather hose on the intake tube do that before you put it on the elbow I use the same factory 10 millimeter bolt Now I'm about to tighten everything down. Got the arm on. I'm about to put the bike back down and tighten everything up. About to slap the K and N outfit on. High float. Got my filter on. All right, that's my old tune for the K&N and the factory uh, air box. 
Now I'm about to flash the high performance tune for the trill performance. Cold air filter. Erasing the old tune. Now it's right in the on tune. If you're doing this correctly, you notice the lights will stay on the bike the whole entire time until the tune is complete. When flashing the tune, process takes about 10 minutes. Flash is complete.